Getting teenagers to school on time can often be a challenge. Not at the Evelyn Grace Academy in Brixton, though. These year nine and tens get here two hours early, every day of the week. I wake up five o'clock in the morning. Um, I take the bus or the train because I live a bit far. Um, yeah, I love playing basketball because I'm dedicated to it. Basketball is big here because of this guy, NBA superstar Lul Deng. He grew up in Brixton and sponsors the academy. And while he's on the other side of the Atlantic, the boys have also got a pretty good coach, Ronnie Baker, England's most capped player. So the early starts are worth it. I love the sport and I don't think without this I would have ever found a passion for something like this. So I think just the desire to get up and play. Well, the school's relationship with the NBA means that basketball is one of the most popular sports. But football, rugby, boxing, netball and dance are also big. And it seems to be working. Over the last four years, the school's seen a dramatic decrease in the number of suspensions and exclusions. When children misbehave, it's a lack of discipline. But if sports, I believe, can instill self-discipline into, into all children, but you know, particularly ours. Because it, um, Evelyn Grace is in Brixton, um, trouble is always around the corner. And the fact that we have basketball, it keeps us out of trouble. A lot of the pupils here come from very disadvantaged backgrounds. And although attendance and exclusions used to be a problem, the school now prides itself on its sporting achievements and facilities. The building was designed by Dame Zaha Hadid, the architect behind the Olympic Aquatic Centre. And they have a state-of-the-art running track, football pitch and gym. I think without a doubt the positive ethos that sports brings to a school um, allows students to feel like they belong here and that they're wanted and that they have a purpose to be here. Many of the boys here say sport has taught them to dream big, both on the court and in the classroom. Amelia Papadopoulos, BBC London News.